Hi, I'm Ryan Ehlers with Marlow Incorporated, Technical Service Department. Today we will be covering the NXT2 programming for a twin alternating System 7. We're going to do the programming on an NXT2 for a twin alt system. To get into the program, you'll use the left arrow and the down arrow. Once you see setting review, that means you got into the program. Setting review should be off in order to make changes to the program. If you have it on, this will allow you to review the program but not make any changes. Make sure that the arrow is pointing at the off and then hit the extra cycle button to go to the next step in the program. Next is our language and make sure the arrow pointer is on the English and go ahead and hit the extra cycle button. On this step it says assistant name. This is where you would enter your company name. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Use the up arrow to scroll through your alphabet. And we'll hit the extra cycle button to go over the to the next character. Now that you got your company name entered, all we're going to do is hit the extra cycle button, press and hold, and that'll get us to the next step. This is for assistant name 2. We're not going to have one entered in there, so we're going to just press and hold. And then you can get the assistant phone number, um, and this is where you put your company number. Again, use the up arrow to scroll through for your numbers, and the extra cycle button to scroll over to the next character. If you want to put a space in there, you can do it. Now that your phone number is entered, hit the extra cycle button, press and hold to get to your next step. We are now in the system type. The factory default in the controller is a system 4 single unit. We will now have to use the down arrow here to scroll to find the system 7, which is what we would use for a twin alt. One of the new features that the NXT2 has is it has the ability for you to back up into the program. To do that, we'll hit the left arrow here and we'll back up into the program. Now you can keep on going back if you want by just hitting the back arrow. Okay. Now to get back into where you were, you'll hit the extra cycle button to scroll through to the parameter you were at. So hit the extra cycle button to go to the next step. This will be your valve type. We're going to select our valve type and to do that you'll use your up and down arrows again um, and make sure the arrow is pointing at the valve that you're working on. We'll put this to a 2850 and then we'll hit the extra cycle button. Next up is regen flow. This is the regeneration flow pattern. Typically it's going to be a down flow. You can also see in here that they've also selected to have a filter option now and also upflow which was always in there from the old NXT. So the edit feature here is the filter option. We'll go ahead and put that to downflow. Make sure our arrow is pointing on downflow and then we'll hit the extra cycle button. Next is the unit of measure. Make sure the arrow is pointing on US. We're going to set it for US. Hit the extra cycle button to go to the next step. Next step is capacity in grains. This is where you'll set your capacity of your unit. This one you can see is set for a 300,000 grain system. Again, to make your changes, you'll use the extra cycle button to scroll over to your character. Again, up and down to make your changes. Press and hold the extra cycle button to go to the next step. The next step is hardness in grains per gallon. This is where you'll enter your hardness of the water coming into your facility. Again, extra cycle button to scroll over, up and down to make your changes. Press and hold the extra cycle button to go to the next step. The next step is remote regeneration. For our twin alt, we're going to leave that selected on off make sure the arrow is pointing to off. There's also delayed and immediate available. Press the extra cycle button to go to the next step. The next step is your day override feature. We'll set it for 10 days and hit the extra cycle button 
to go to the next step. Next step is our regen time. Because of a day override feature, we have to tell it a time to regen. It's factory default is 2 a.m. Press the extra cycle button to go to the next step. Next up is lock window. For our twin alt, we'll leave it off, but if you turn it on, this will prevent the unit from regenerating during a specific time that you key in. Press the extra cycle button to go to the next step. Next step will be our cycle times. Our first cycle step is backwash and it's set for 10 minutes. Hit the extra cycle button to go to the next step. Our next cycle is draw. That's brine draw slow rinse and it's set for 60 minutes. Hit the extra cycle button to go to the next step. Rapid rinse is our next step. That's a 10 minute cycle. Rapid rinse or fast rinse. Hit the extra cycle button to go to the next step. And then we come up with brine tank refill or tank refill. Again, up and down arrow to make your minute changes for your timing. And then again, extra cycle button to go to the next step. The pause cycle step is for making brine or if you want to delay after the regeneration. Hit the extra cycle button and go to the next step. We now have the meter type. We will select the inch and a half paddle. Um, again, make sure the arrow is pointing to the style of meter that you are going to use. And then hit the extra cycle button to go to the next step. Here's another new additional feature that the NXT2 is offering and it's continuous flow detection. What this is is if you have flow that's continuously leaking to the outlet, this would tell you if you have flow or not. Um, I would think you'd want to put this on if you had a, like a twin parallel system or a twin demand system. We'll leave it off at this point for the twin alt. Hit the extra cycle button again to go to the next step. And now we get into our auxiliary relays. Uh, a couple other features here on these, on the NXT2s. You can have it off. You can do alarm based. Cycle based, is which is what it was before. Um, time based, volume based, and then um, if a unit's in standby. So several features here for the auxiliary relay. Um, We'll leave it off on this, we're not going to use it, so hit the extra cycle button to go to the next step. There's also a second auxiliary relay in here as well with the same features as the auxiliary one. We're not going to use it. Hit the extra cycle button and go to the next step. A next added feature that the NXT2 has is before on the old NXT you would have to program each controller individually. This has a push setting and on here you can turn it on or off. Basically what that means is if you turn it on it'll take the program that you just did in this controller and transfer it to the the second unit and won't require you to do any programming at that point. It just transfers that program over to the other unit. If you want to have it off because you need a different cycle times and you didn't want the program copied that's where you would probably use that. Otherwise, uh, if for twin alt app applications, you should just always put it on. Hit the extra cycle button to go to the next step. The next step here is save as non-factory on or off. So what this is, is this is another additional feature for the NXT2. You can basically set it as a, as a non-factory or you can leave it off. If you have it on the on, you would be leaving it how you set it during the programming that we just had gone through and that would be the factory default. If you turn it off then what happens is that will go back to the the FLEC NXT2 factory default settings. So we'll put it on and then we'll hit the extra cycle button to go to the next step. Next step is lock settings. As you can see there's time based, off, delayed, and enter code. What this is is for lock settings is if you want to lock out this NXT controller from making any changes you have several options. You can do it based on time based meaning you have to 
do the keystrokes of 12.01 p.m. just like you're used to on the SXT timers. You can do a enter code by putting your own code and entering a code to get in. Or you can do a delayed keystroke. The delayed setting is going to be a left arrow and down button for 60 seconds to get into the master programming. We'll leave the lock settings off. And then hit the extra cycle button. Programming is now complete. This completes our NXT2 programming for the twin alternating system 7.